Happy New Year, everyone. Um, as you've probably read the uh, newsletter, you've discovered that we're uh, moving over to a system called Clubspark, uh, which is a booking and uh, member management system. And in the coming days, you're going to receive an email, which will be an invite to register with Clubspark. So what you're going to look out for in this email is a link called register now. So you click the link and it will take you to a sign up page. You should find your information already put in there, but if you want to change it, you can. Put a tick next to I understand the club spark. You don't have to put a tick next to uh, you want to receive news from Tennis New Zealand because that's nothing to do with Walkworth Rackets. It's all to do with Tennis New Zealand, but it's up to you. So then you'll click sign up. Uh, then you'll then also tick uh, the terms and conditions and you can read the terms and conditions by clicking the link just here. Then you're going to click continue. And you have this lovely dashboard, which has got lots of information on it. Uh, from here, you can edit your profile, you can manage your bookings, make a booking, uh, and check your membership. So why don't we go ahead and make a booking? So as you can see, we've got all the courts loaded up, and um, you'll see there click for free because you're a member, you're seeing uh, it's free. Now to see all the courts, um, you can either click the arrow down here or you click the arrow on the right. We make a booking, we can, um, it's in 30 minute increments, so we can um, Choose the start time and the finish time. Scroll down to how many hours you want to book the court for. Down here, you can add a guest. Type in the guest name, click save. And what you can see down here is that guest is $5. That gets added to the system. As you add, keep adding participants, that will increase. So we'll now continue the booking. Here we've got a confirmation page, so we can check to see if everything's correct. If you've got lucky enough to get a promotion code or a coupon code, you can enter in that and it will give you some sort of discount. Uh, if you have credits, you can also use your credits as well. Click confirm and pay, enter your credit card details and click pay. Now, that's what it's like when you're a member or a casual person booking. This part here, if you have administrator rights, you'll view as administrator, which will then lead you on to more uh, functions such as repeat booking and so forth. But I'll take you through that now. So we're going to choose the category um, and we can have competition, social, whatever it's going to be. And down here, there is a thing called advanced options. So once we've chosen what the category is, there are the subcategories as well. So that we and we can basically you know, set those up for you as well. So we go to advanced options um, and here we can change the name. And of course, there we got the category and the subcategory. Uh, we click here to uh, choose the courts and we then obviously choose the date and obviously the start time, finish time. And if it's going to be a repeat, uh, we can do daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and then tick the appropriate uh, days in this particular case. Um, the contact, if you just click me, then I'll put you as the contact, or if you want to put another member as a contact, um, it will then go through the members. Uh, if you're not the one who's booked this and you want to send an email confirmation for that main contact, tick there. If you want to add participants, um, you can start typing the name, and if it's a member is in there, it'll automatically populate that person's name. 
Down the bottom here, you can add a description, um, a note, and choose a color. And that, will, that color code will um, show up uh, that represents the type of um, booking that you've made. Once we confirm, we can check all the details are correct and then go from there, make another booking or view your bookings. Now, what will happen is a PIN code will be generated. Um, you obviously don't need that because you're a member, but if you wanted to give that PIN code to, um, say, people you might have invited to a fun event or so forth, um, you can give that PIN code to them, but it'll only last for that period of time. Uh, if you want to do so. So we talked about the profile. In the profile, you've got your details which you can adjust. The privacy and consent uh, part is whether you uh, want to receive or not receive emails. If it'd be great if you do uh, leave the tick to receive the emails because um, we're not going to use this for advertising purposes, but if there's an emergency announcement or something happening with the club, um, then you'll get those uh, emails. You can change your password, and uh, from there you can check your bookings. Uh, and just one thing to note, uh, as a courtesy for you squashies out there, um, any uh, bookings made between five and seven, um, it's not sort of good practice to have a uh, to book it for yourself only. Um, so that's something that you might want to talk to um, the squash captain about, but just be, just be mindful of it for those who don't know. Um, the membership, so you can check your membership uh, at a different membership if you want to. Uh, and here's the credits. So with the credits, that's basically um, to see how many credits you've got. If, for instance, you might have cancelled within the time frame. Um, then a credit will be added to your dashboard, which you can use later. So that's um, pretty much it, guys. I hope that wasn't too much of a information overload. Um, if you've got any questions, um, just email support at walkworthrackets.co.nz. Uh, we'll answer any questions. And if you've got any feedback or suggestions to how we can make this better for you um, please let us know so um, yeah let's look forward to a great 2024 catch you soon